Some fabricators have tried and rejected devices to reduce the blast of shielding gas that exits a MIG gun at the weld start. This video will show why simple orifice flow control mounted at the wire feeder is often rightfully rejected by welders. First, some basic fundamentals of gas flow. Shielding gas flowing in a hose is dependent on the hose pressure. If an orifice is placed in the line, it controls the flow rate. The shielding gas flow rate depends on the orifice size and the pressure upstream and downstream of its location. That relationship holds until the velocity of the orifice reaches the speed of sound. The velocity cannot increase above that speed. In a welding situation, the minimum upstream pressure needed to achieve what is called choke flow is 25 psi. Orifices mounted at the wire feeder have been tried in an attempt to reduce the very high peak gas surge that occurs when starting a MIG weld. This high surge flow creates excess turbulence that pulls in air, creating an unstable arc and possibly internal weld porosity. This orifice location reduces the high peak flow, however if the size is selected to control the final gas flow rate, other significant, less obvious starting problems occur. A major problem created is the lack of extra shielding gas at the weld start needed to quickly purge air from the MIG gun nozzle in a weld start area. Stauffer recognized this problem in a 1982 flow control device patent, quoting, Air leaks back into the MIG gun when welding stops. It must be quickly purged with inert gas to produce high quality welds. Also it is critical to displace air in the weld zone when initiating the arc. Stauffer's device employed a large gas storage reservoir, shown with the blue arrow, to hold the extra needed start shielding gas. With any flow control device mounted directly at the MIG feeder, when the gas control solenoid opens, there is insufficient extra gas available to quickly purge air from the weld start area and the MIG gun nozzle. Essentially, the weld is starting in air. Welders may try to compensate for this lack of sufficient start shielding gas by drilling out or removing the orifice. If flow meters are placed at the feeder, welders often set excess flow rates trying to compensate for the lack of extra start gas that exists. A bar joist manufacturer's experience shows the problems encountered with flow control orifices placed at the MIG wire feeder. This plant had 50 MIG welders making thousands of welds between angle iron flanges in the web. The orifices selected were flowing 45 to 50 CFH with a pipeline pressure in the shop shielding gas piping system. However, the welders wanted higher flow, saying it was needed to handle drafts. The welding engineer was reluctant to increase the flow rates of this expensive argon CO2 shielding gas mixture they were using. Our gas saver system was evaluated in an attempt to improve shielding while reducing, not increasing, gas usage. Two welders were tested using cylinder gas supply, one equipped with their standard flow control system and the other with a gas saver system configured as shown in this schematic. With the gas saver system, the flow control orifice was placed at the gas supply end of the gas delivery hose. The gas saver system hose was installed between the flow control device and the feeder. The welder using the gas saver system instantly saw improved weld starts. He was very pleased. Observing for several hours, the weld start spatter reduction was obvious. It was also possible to lower the steady state flow rate on the gas control system to 35 CFH from the 45 to 50 CFH they were normally using, while still maintaining superior performance. The gas saver system was quickly providing the extra gas needed to purge the weld start area while limiting the peak flow rate to a level that does not produce excess turbulence. After a two-month trial to define if the system could handle drafts, which it proved it could, systems were purchased for all 50 welders. A year after the gas saver systems were installed, the company's bulk gas supplier called and asked if business had dropped off since their purchases were down over 30 percent. Production was not lower. Another way an orifice can be employed is to use a large enough orifice size to limit peak starting flow while still controlling the steady state flow at the gas supply. The maximum peak flow can be controlled, but the gas pressure in the delivery hose still increases to the pipeline or cylinder regulator pressure when welding stops. When the pressure increases, the volume of gas stored in the hose can be seven times the physical hose volume. When welding starts, the pressure will reduce to 3 to 7 psi needed to flow gas through the feeder and MIG gun.
However, now instead of blasting out in a second or two, the excess gas, now limited in flow rate by the orifice, spreads the loss over a longer time. There is a small reduction in gas waste, but mostly it just takes longer to occur. This graph shows the gas flow rate at the weld start of a typical system shown by the blue line. Note the peak flow goes to 160 CFH. With a peak flow orifice set at 80 CFH, the very high gas flow rate is avoided, but essentially the same amount of gas is expelled. It just takes four or five seconds for the excess to dissipate. Adding to the graph a flow line for the gas saver system shows with the red line that the peak flow is similar to the peak flow orifice result, but the extra gas only exists for a little over a second. That is sufficient to quickly purge the air from the mid-gun nozzle and the weld start area. However, the total amount of extra gas is reduced by about 80% from the other two methods, saving wasted gas. What is a gas saver system? This patented device uses a small ID gas delivery hose that reduces stored gas 80%. The fitting on the feeder end incorporates an orifice that limits peak gas flow at the start. The gas saver system supplies a controlled amount of extra gas at the weld start to purge the mid-gun nozzle and weld start area, providing superior weld start performance with less spatter. The gas saver system has no moving parts to wear or knobs to adjust, and like some other devices that have been tried to solve the blast of gas at the weld start, like simple orifices, welders appreciate its benefits. They can still control the steady state gas flow rate with the existing or a conventional flow control. Fabricators can typically expect a 50% reduction in the shielding gas use with the system. In summary, a flow control orifice operates using what is called critical or choke flow to set gas flow rate. An orifice placed at the inlet to a MIG wire feeder sized to control the total flow will not provide sufficient extra gas at the weld start. Welders see the inferior starts and may decide to drill out the small orifice which often creates excess gas use. Another way an orifice is used is to employ a size large enough to control peak flow but allow the steady state gas flow to be controlled at the gas source. This gives a false impression that gas waste is reduced since the obvious blast of gas from the high peak flow is reduced. In fact some folks sell these devices as gas waste reducers. However they save little gas and mostly just spread the excess gas stored in a gas delivery hose over a longer time. For pipon gas supply, an orifice can be successfully used to set the flow rates if installed at the pipeline gas drop. However, this does not control the blast of gas at the weld start or eliminate gas waste. It can, however, be used in combination with our gas saver system. For more information about our patented shielding gas saving products, visit us at netwelding.com. That's www dot netwelding.com. Thank you.